This is Jimmy Cab State, the broadcast 5150 AV series of Bulldozer Magazine here at Decibel Disaster. You know I hate being around a bunch of fucking drunk kids, but why am I here? Over 30 years of killing with pleasure with Sammy of Creator. Thank you for uh, taking the time to talk to me. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I, I guess I'm not drunk, drunk an old man then, but I'm actually completely sober right now. But you don't, you don't want to be around drunken kids? <laughs> No, I'm very grumpy. Now, now in my adulthood, I, I, you know, when I was younger, I didn't act like an asshole like these kids, you know. Well, but you know, it's it's Saturday. It's Saturday, right. and everybody's gonna everybody's gonna have fun, and it's gonna be a nice evening of metal. You know why they're excited? Because not only have you been doing this for so long, but they're excited that you've been doing it correctly. Let me ask you a question. No, and I really mean that sincerely. Not only am I saying this because I'm a fan, I'm saying it because at my age, I appreciate musicians of this prime era like yourselves that have retained the integrity my question to you is you've been doing it for so long what i appreciate as a fan and as a listener each record is not repetitious but yet it maintains the creator foundation how know. do you do that's, that? that's of course a huge compliment thank you very much and uh, i guess one secret might be that we take our time making records it's usually like four or five years every between the albums so we put a lot of thought into it and we you know like like uh, take it seriously you know in, in in that way I mean in general I don't take music seriously and when we're on tour it's not a serious thing but you know the recording process and so on arranging the songs and that's what we take seriously yeah would you say that the reason why creator has maintained not only that power where it gets the adrenaline in the youth and then an old fucker like myself is because you guys are not the titanic rock stars you're just having fun for over third what three four Decades. <laughs> well, I love playing the guitar, and and you know that's the highlight of the of the day, especially on tour. Yeah, and right. and like yeah, of course it is, of course it is. And that's the whole 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 thing, the short ninety minutes that you're waiting for all day. And and uh, yeah, what was your question? <laughs> it's just that what I like is that no matter what year I've been seeing you since the '80s. What I like is that when I come see your performance, you're not doing it as a stage act. You're not do you're 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 giving the fans what they want to see, but you're having fun, and that's what ha that's what keeps it. Now that I'm older, and I appreciate the integrity, the realness of it. Well, thanks for saying that. Yeah, and then also when we go to the studio, we want to uh, find that uh, younger kid that still lives inside you. You know, that's that's, a, all, that's mm. good, right? <laughs> because you know what? At the end of the day, this business can really suck the fun and the life out of it. The road, dealing with all the madness. What I like the fact is that it doesn't affect the music, which in turn, let's talk about the new record. This record, to me, is all. Each record always has its own, what I like to say, signature of creator. But this record, to me, seems like, like there's a rejuvenation, like an excitement. Am I correct with that synopsis? Well, I mean, they're always this. Like I said earlier, we take it very seriously. But uh, it can also be seen as a kind of a continuation of, of, of our previous album right. because we used the same producer and, 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 and so on. And, and uh, this time when we worked with him, we didn't have to be so polite to each other anymore because we knew him better. <laughs> and, and, you had uh, the relationship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, it, it, it was a very good one. Who knows, maybe we might even do a third one with him at some point. I don't know. It's difficult to say right now. <laughs> is there... Is there an underlying message in this record. One of the things that I've always enjoyed about creator lyrics, Millie's lyrics, is the fact that he doesn't get the credit, at least here in America, of being a top-notch lyricist. I enjoy really dissolving the lyrical part. But in this record, I found like, is, 
I, I'm interpreting it, and of course every listener will interpret it in their own way, but is there like a message for this epic, I don't even know what fiasco that we're dealing with here in the United States and the world? Well, not only the United States, I guess everywhere in the world, but, it's, it's, but, but, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, Miller, he draws his inspiration for his lyrics from, from um, um, current events happening around the world all the time. Okay, there's a lot of current events and, uh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and on the new record, there's like, like World War Now is like, for example, raising a question if we already are living in a kind of a world war already. I hope we're not, but, but you know, that's kind of raises the question and, and, and similar themes like that, you know, but, but it's, it's uh, they're easy to interpret. <laughs> they're easy to, well, once you read them, you know what it's about. Do you enjoy the fact, and I don't want to really uh, get too involved in what the meaning is, because as, as, I, as I said before, every listener to a creator album interprets it on his own. But do you feel that in this day and age, where everything is so, this, not only this generation, but with technology, it's, it's kind of done a, a dumbing effect. Do you think that the lyrical part is being dissolved like back, say, like in 84, 85? Well, I mean, uh, that's, a, that's a part of the lyrical concept. I would, I would say so it is. But, but of course, you know, if you go thinking about albums that they made 80, 84, 85, you got to remember that, that these guys were kids. They had to ask permission to go to the studio in Berlin from their parents <laughs> and so on. And it's more like, a, like a, on those albums, like you can hear like horror stories and, and, and splatter and, and, you know, pleasure to kill and stuff like that, which is also fine, which is also fine. I have nothing against that. We still play some of those old songs live <laughs> no but what I, what I meant was is you've always focused the band has always focused on the complete packaging of the album the music the lyrical point back in that era we would dissolve that nowadays do you think do you think the youth is really digging deep into the lyrical part of this new record I hope they are I wouldn't I wouldn't know but I, 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 I let's I, tell them I, look at the lyrics read it <laughs> yeah you should read it man <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever, but but I mean, uh, what, whatever turns you on is all I can say. You know, an important part about any any music or any kind of art that that's it's it's, it's also entertaining, whether it's shit or or well performed or bad performed. It's not not the case. As long as it's as, you know, if it raises some interest, you know, that's the only thing that matters for me when I listen to music. One of the things that I've always respected about creators, I mentioned before the integrity factor, which to me means a lot. This is another thing that I've always liked. In this day and age, this era, with the whole resurgence, okay, one of the things that I've always liked about creators, they've never have been stagnant. You've been constantly moving forward, very productive. Again, something that I admire, but how creatively do you keep those, how do you keep that creative force going? Well, uh, we, we sound like old grumpy old men, don't we? <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> but, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, uh, so you do a great job of, of finding... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for example, if you take we'll go a couple of albums back when we did Horns of Chaos, we, we tried to find inspiration from the fact that we were recording it live with an analog nice. analog, de analog uh, de desk and, and on tape. And, and then on the next time, we went more back to a kind of a more modern day traditional kind of way of way of producing an album and and uh, of course the songwriting process is also a very important part about it too and and first we throw ideas back and forth like like any musician would do uh, at this day and age you know online but then we we do meet up in the rehearsal room and rehearse quite a lot before this album I was in because I live in Finland the rest of the guys live in Essen I went there for for uh, many times during the spring you know like the two week sessions playing every day and, and trying to get the songs together as as, as, uh, as well as we can <laughs> talk to me real quick about the recording of this record did you do anything different to make it like as you mentioned before where you experimented well the method was because of the same producer was was uh, so a yeah but but uh, we I, we tried to expand our sound sound a little bit of course like we always try to do with every album and and for that we ex for example had some help from this Italian band called Flesh God Apocalypse who helped us with with the orchestrations of the of the of the intro song and then when it turned out so good we had them help us out with a couple of other songs too but they, but they're like small little things to spice it up a little bit it's mostly dominant on the intro thing and and. Uh, 
and some other guest musicians too, you know, to broaden the sound a little bit. Did you like collaborating with other musicians? Did it make it more creatively exciting? Of course, I mean, because that's the people you can always learn something new from, and I always think it's very important also to jam and with as many people as possible and do shows, because you can always learn from somebody else something that you didn't know before. And there's always input that you maybe you've you know didn't think of, and it because the, they always say the song is never done, but mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. yeah, the more yeah. the more input, the better for the product. Absolutely, creator. Nothing to add. <laughs> creator is on tour now. Amazing package. Make sure you get out not only to see Creator. Amazing inner card. This is what I really want to say at most. In this day and age, where money, where status, where a description of who you are. Time is the true definer of what is real. Creator has proven that. No need to say it, it's been done. Thank you for taking the time to talk today. Thanks for your compliments. <laughs> All right.